Greetings again, gang. Mid-morning. All right, so let's start here. How many of you have cameras on your house? Probably a lot. I mean, maybe it's something as simple as a, a ring doorbell, but you have it. Why? Because you want to be able to see what's going on around you in case there's any threat that comes on your property, to your door, whatever, right? How many of you with kids or grandkids monitor their TV watching, their internet usage, check their Instagram, their Facebook, their tech, uh, TikTok, whatever? Why? Because you want to make sure that there aren't a whole bunch of pedophiles going after them, right? You know, all these things in the name of security. We do that. It is important for us to pay attention to what is ours, right? Our property, our children, name it. Now, let me ask you this. How many of you have security uh, cameras on your neighbor's yard? Or how many of you monitor your neighbor's kids, Instagram, Facebook, whatever? Probably none. That would be a little weird, right? It's kind of like stalking, maybe, you know, something that's illegal. So we don't do it. We have a right to protect what's ours, but we do not have a right to invade on somebody else's privacy, correct? I think we'd all agree on that. Well, Washington doesn't see it that way. And yeah, this is going to come as a complete shock. But I'm going to agree with the Democrats on this one, okay? And you know me, I am not beholden to any political party. I consider myself a conservative, not a constitutional conservative. I do not consider myself a Republican. I certainly do not consider myself a Democrat. I'm certainly not a liberal, a progressive, whatever. I'm a constitutional conservative. Some may say I'm more libertarian. Okay, that might be more along the lines of where I tick if you had a pigeonhole me, but okay. So, yesterday we had the vote on Section 702, the FISA deal. Now, if you guys know what FISA is, it's the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, okay? This is what was used against Trump when Obama was bugging Trump Tower, uh, whole nine yards, okay? This is basically allowing the government to monitor you. They call it foreign intelligence. I guess all of us are now foreign intelligence agents. But it allows the government to monitor anybody without a warrant, okay? So that means cameras filming you, monitoring your email, watching what you watch on YouTube, okay? Checking your texts, listening to your phone calls, et cetera, et cetera, okay? I think we would all call that an invasion of our privacy. But of course they do this because, oh, it's a matter of national security. Now I'll give you this. FISA was originally introduced back in the 70s by Ted Kennedy, okay? Everything that they have with FISA didn't stop 9-11, okay? Didn't stop any of the attacks on U.S. embassies, uh, you know, certainly Libya. So what good is it? Well, apparently it's good to root out school board protesters and people that are pro-life or pro-Second Amendment, you know, those terrorists, that's what's going after. Well, so it's up for renewal in the House. And our traitor of a Speaker of the House, Mike Johnson, tried to ram this through yesterday, figuring, okay, we have a majority, albeit a slim one of, I think, one person, maybe it's two right now, I don't know, with some of the retirements and 
kicked out of Congress, whole nine yards. It's one or two people that the Republicans have a majority on. And so Johnson figured, okay, we're going to renew this and all the Republicans would fall in line. Great. Didn't so much happen that way. Okay. Of course, the Democrats figure this one out. This is, this is where it starts to make no sense. All the Democrats voted against it. Now, remember, the Democrats were the ones that had wiretapped Trump Tower. Okay. And that's been proven. So now they're against this and the Republicans want to do it. Hmm. Interesting. So could that be a little bit of the Democrats are panicked for the election? Probably, because they know which way the people believe this. I don't want government surveillance of my email, of my television watching, of what YouTube channels I watch. It's none of their freaking business, okay? So yesterday, we had 19 GOP House members. And you guys know I'm putting this list together so we can figure out who the traitors are so we know who not to vote for come November because House, Re House of Representatives, they're all up for re-election every two years. Okay, So if these are your congressmen, these are the ones who voted against correct answer in my opinion Re renewing FISA Andy Biggs from Arizona Dan Bishop North Carolina Lauren Boebert Colorado Tim Burchett Tennessee my guy I like Tim Burchett okay. Michael Cloud from Texas Eli Crane from Arizona Matt Gates from Florida Bob Good from Virginia Paul Gosar Arizona Clay Higgins, Louisiana, Anna Paulina Luna from Florida, Nancy Mace, South Carolina, Corey Mills, Florida, Ralph Norman, South Carolina, Andy Ogles, Tennessee, Scott Perry, Pennsylvania, Matt Rosendale, Montana, Chip Roy, Texas, Greg Stubbe, Florida. Every other congressman in the GOP believes that the government should have a right to spy on you. Now, without a warrant, okay? What's so difficult about getting a warrant? Well, gee, we have to have proof of a crime. Let's go into the New World Order crap or all this World Economic Forum stuff. Thought crime. This is what, this is why a lot of people are against this. Because just because I am basically pro-life, just because I am basically Second Amendment friendly, okay, me, all right, just because I mentioned that, hey, I own a gun, many of them, just because I'm pro-Second Amendment, for example, does not mean I'm going to be one of these lunatic transgender people, it seems to be all of them lately, who's going to go shoot up a school, a mall, a police station, a post office, whatever, right? No. But the government with FISA thinks that they can come now monitor me because, oh boy, this guy's Second Amendment friendly. He might be a threat. No. Why don't you go look at the people who actually are, oh, I don't know, burning down buildings, threatening people, etc., etc., etc. Go get a warrant. Go have some evidence to make it to the point where you have some sort of legal backing to monitor people and then go arrest the criminals. This is the problem. We keep electing these same idiots who have no intention whatever whatsoever in doing what's right for the American people. We're subjects as far as they're concerned. 
this is what we need to stop. This is why we need to clean house. This is why when the election rolls around six months from now, seven months from now, that we need to get rid of the rhinos, the communists, the progressives, basically the ones that are traitors to the country. We are supposed to have liberty and freedom in this country. We are still a country of laws, that is for sure. You need to have laws to be a civilized society. You know, we can't go into anarchy. You know, that doesn't do any good for people of the Wild West. You just walk down the street, shoot somebody, and there's no consequences for it. No, we need to have laws. But what we don't need is more government overreach. And what FISA is, is government overreach. We do not need to become a surveillance state. That's what communist countries are. That's what China does. That's when they can walk into your house in North Korea and go, where's your, your picture of President Kim? Why isn't it on the wall? Oh my God, into the gulag you go. We don't need scenarios where you're not allowed to leave your house between this hour and that hour. That's house arrest, okay? That's what goes on in communist countries. You're not allowed to associate with such and such person, okay? That's what happens to criminals. Last time I checked, a massive majority of this country is not a criminal. There's some, sure, we all know it. A lot of them are in jail. The rest of them are on the south side of Chicago. But when the government is actively considering to allow the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, and they like to use it against the United States citizens, just because maybe you talk to somebody who lives in another country. I guess they can surveil me. There's people in Europe that watch this channel. There's people in California, or California, California should be another country. There's people in Canada that watch this channel. There's people all over the world that watch this channel. Does that mean now they have a right under FISA to investigate me, to surveil me? No, okay. Do you have family or friends that live in another country? Gee, you know, Mrs. P does and she'll text a friend or maybe to chat with them on Facebook or something like that back in Russia. Does that give the U.S. government the right to surveil her? No. Sorry. You know, I think we're allowed to talk to our family, to our friends. But according to the government, according to thought crime, 1984 George Orwell stuff, this is what they want. I will give credit to every Democrat in the House and to the 19 Republicans who shot this down yesterday. That was actually doing something that was right for the American people. I know it's an absolute shocker that the Democrats actually did something that benefited the people for a change. But we need to, you need to, if your name was not on that, if your representative's name was not on that list, you need to get a hold of them and say, WTF were you thinking? No, you have no right to surveil me and do not give me any crap about, oh, it prevents crimes because how come it didn't prevent the Nashville shooting or the New York shooting? or the Las Vegas shooting, you're apparently surveilling the wrong people, which means to me, it's all about politics and nothing about crime. Bingo out.